Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Ninja 4-in-1 Blender and Food Processor System. If you want to try out this Ninja, I've put a link in the description below. This is the 72-ounce blending pitcher. There are markings on the pitcher in ounces and liters. The blender jar comes with a large blade. Although the blending pitcher holds 72 ounces, it is compact, so when you use it, it should fit under most cabinets. The 72-ounce jar has a release button on top. You press it and the handle goes up. And that's how you remove the lid from the jar. There's also a spout for easy pouring. This is the 24 ounce compact cup. This is great for smoothies. There are markings on the cup in ounces and milliliters. There's also a max liquid line, so don't fill above that. The compact cup comes with its own blade and a lid. This is the spiralizer. There's the collecting bowl, the lid, and the pusher. When you use the spiralizer, the ingredients should not be taller than four inches. If you're using harder vegetables like butternut squash or potatoes, the maximum height is three inches. And nothing should be wider than three inches. If you're using carrots, they should be larger than one and a half inches in diameter. There are three blades to use with the spiralizer. The red is the spaghetti blade, blue is the ribbon blade, and green is the fettuccine blade. Each disc is marked. This is the food processor bowl with its lid, you can pour in liquids through the lid while you're processing. The food processor has its own blade and a dough blade. A cleaning brush is included, as well as an instruction manual and recipe book with recipes for smoothies, salads, slaw, cocktails, and soups. There's also a quick assembly guide. The base has suction feet. There are tabs on the side that you can push up to release the base. There is cord storage on the back of the base. Start stop button to turn the unit on and off. Once you start it, the timer will count up to 60 seconds. You can stop the blender at any time by pressing the start stop button again. With the pulse button, you just press and release quickly. The auto IQ boost button has a yes or no selection. If you select yes, you'll get a smoother, creamier result. And you select no if you want more texture in whatever you're blending. The auto IQ functions are frozen drink, smoothie, extract, mix, chop, and dough. All the programs are not available with all the jars. Certain Auto IQ programs are compatible with each container. When a container is locked into the base, the compatible program buttons will illuminate. All the containers, blade assemblies, discs, and lids are BPA free. When you first get the unit, wash all the parts in warm soapy water and dry. The base can be wiped with a damp cloth. The containers, lids, blade discs, and blade assemblies are dishwasher safe. The lids, blade discs, and blade assemblies are top rack dishwasher safe. One of the things I like about Ninja products is that they make it very user friendly. You can see all the containers and lids have arrows and colors that match up, so you don't have to think too much about how to put the parts together. First, we'll test out the 72 ounce pitcher. Put it on the base and turn it to lock. And there is a picture here to show you how to lock it. This is a large blade that goes with the pitcher. Put it right in the middle. First, we'll make a really healthy vegetable smoothie. I've got some green apples cut up, as well as a little piece of ginger, one carrot cut up. So we'll put all those ingredients in first. When you're using the blender, first add fruit or veggies, then leafy greens, liquids, and end with ice or frozen ingredients. Some cucumber with the skin on. I'm using hothouse cucumbers. They're seedless. And the skin is thin, so you can leave them on. I'm using one medium hothouse cucumber. And kale. I'll put a few ice cubes in. The ice always goes on top. So you can see it's filled right up to the 72 ounce line. With the Ninja, you cannot blend hot liquids. Nor can you blend dry ingredients. I also added some water to help it blend. Mask the arrow on the lid to the arrow on the handle. Push the handle down. So you can see with the pitcher, we can choose pulse, frozen drink, smoothie, or extract. I'm gonna choose extract. For the auto IQ boost, I'll choose yes. It just toggles between yes and no. Then I'll press extract.
the display counts down to zero and the cycle ends automatically. Press the release button on the lid, the handle goes up, and you can remove the lid. Turn and pull up. Make sure to pull the blade out first before pouring out your smoothie because the blade is not locked in and it could fall out and hurt you. After it's blended, as you can see, it only fills up half the container. So this pitcher holds a lot. I'll taste it. It's tasty only because I put ginger and apples in there. It is gritty, it's not silky smooth. Everything is processed. The kale is broken down, the ginger, carrots. The ninja did a good job of breaking down everything, but it's not gonna be silky smooth. Next, we'll try the 24 ounce cup. I'm using a mango that I froze, frozen banana, and some frozen pineapple. Add some milk. Screw the blade on. Turn it to lock. You heard the clicking sound. With the 24 ounce cup, you can choose pulse, extract, smoothie, or frozen drink. I'm gonna use smoothie. For the auto IQ boost, I'm gonna choose yes. This ninja, like all other ninjas, is extremely loud. Turn it and pull up. However, this is a high-powered blender. It is 1200 watts, and you're gonna get that loud noise with most high-powered blenders. Unscrew the lid. It looks really good. It's very thick, because I didn't add that much liquid. I had a lot of frozen fruit. more like a fruit shake. There are no chunks, it's very smooth. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's really tasty. It's almost like dessert. Next we'll try the food processor bowl with its own blade. Just turn to lock. Three cups is the max for the bowl. Besides the max line of three cups, there is a maximum liquid line that's right below the two cup mark. I have an extra large red onion here cut into about one inch pieces. Generally with most food processors, it's best not to overfill the container, especially when processing something like onions, it may not be evenly chopped. So we'll just do it halfway. Mask the line on the bowl to the line on the lid and turn to lock, you'll hear the click. You can see with the food processor bowl, pulse, mix, chop, and dough are lit up. I'm gonna press the chop button and it's gonna chop automatically. So I don't have to use the pulse button and do it manually. I chose no for the auto IQ boost because I don't want the onion finely minced. So that was just three turns. The unit did it automatically and it counted down for three seconds. Press the button on the side and turn to remove the lid. The onions were processed nicely and the chop program works really well. And it was done in three seconds. Cleaning out the containers is very simple. Nothing really gets stuck. There are no crevices or anything for food to get stuck inside the containers.
I always recommend just to wash out the containers right after you use them. It's just much easier so nothing really has time to stick onto the sides of the bowl. Next we'll try out the spiralizer. Put the bowl on the base and turn it to the right. You'll hear a click to lock. The collecting bowl sits in the middle. We'll use the red disc for spaghetti. I'm going to be spiralizing zucchini. Make sure to push your vegetable onto the pin in the middle. Put the disc in the bowl. Match the gray tab on the lid to the gray tab on the container. Turn it to lock. I've cut my zucchini into two pieces. Trim the ends so they're flat. And I'm just going to push this into the pin and use the food pusher when processing. It goes right in the slot. Press start stop and push down on the food pusher. That took like five seconds. Take the food pusher out. Push the release tab on the side and unlock the lid. Lift up the disc. There's the usual piece of vegetable. And here is half of the zucchini spiralized. It's really pretty and it's great for people who are trying not to eat pasta and trying to eat more vegetables. I'll try the blue ribbon disc with the other half of the zucchini. A nice long ribbon of zucchini. It's pretty much one long strand. The third disc that was included in the unit is the fettuccine disc and I'll try a potato. It's about three inches long and it's been peeled. The fettuccine discs make the vegetable flatter and wider and this is good for curly fries. And that was done in about 5 seconds. So you can spiralize hard and soft vegetables. So you saw how all of the parts of this Ninja 4-in-1 kitchen system at work. The blender pitcher broke down all of the vegetables but it was not silky smooth. But most blenders are not going to give you a silky consistency with vegetables like carrots and kale. The food processor did a good job on the onions and it just took three seconds. Also it was done automatically with the chop function so we didn't have to pulse manually. The 24 ounce compact cup did a great job on the smoothie. The frozen mango, banana and pineapple were processed very well and the smoothie was extremely creamy. Spiralizer did a great job on the zucchini and potato. And it's nice that you get three different discs with the spiralizer. Overall this Ninja 4-in-1 kitchen system is a good value. It does a lot of different jobs well. If you want to try out this Ninja, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For all of my subscribers who look forward to watching the reviews, I will be gone for a few weeks. Unfortunately, I won't be able to upload anything since I'll be traveling, but I will definitely put up a review as soon as I get back. In the meantime, there are a lot of playlists and videos that I've put up and I hope you enjoy watching them. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.